Hi friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles and I have a fun folio to show you guys and we're gonna uh, make one together today, hopefully together. I'm gonna make one. So this uses basically two pieces of 12 by 12 cardstock um, and I used a fall paper kit by My Porch Prints that is called Pumpkin Spice Junk Journal Ephemera. And it uh, has all kinds of pieces in there. And that's what I used for the ephemera and for the pockets, these library cards. And I'm gonna do something different on the one we make together today. But on this one, I did this fun uh, flap that opens up and then you can add um, more cards and things like that. So that's pretty cool, and it has this neat closure. And then I also used in the kit, they have these large pockets, and I decided to make it an extra flap on my folio. The one I'm gonna make today on camera, I'm gonna make out of scrapbook paper. So if you don't have the kit, you can still do this element and then you can decorate yours however you want to. And certainly you can use any papers that you have. That was a strip of tickets that kind of covered up some white space. I used scrapbook paper that is not double-sided. So if you have want to use scrapbook paper that is double-sided, you won't have to do a little bit of the piecing that I'm gonna do, because I do cover up a little bit of the white space. But. I love it, I think it turned out really sweet, and I printed the My Porch Prints kits once, and I haven't even uh, cut everything out. I've got a bunch of the pieces here that we're gonna use in the one we're gonna make, little pieces as well, and there's still things I haven't cut out, so it's a really large kit, and I'm enjoying it for the fall. So I hope you'll like it too. The scrapbook paper I'm using is just from a paper pad that I got at Michael's uh, several years ago, so use whatever paper you like, and hopefully you'll have a fun folio at the end of it like I do. So the, the main construction, like I said, uses two pieces of 12 by 12 that we're gonna cut down and then you'll have some extra pieces to do a little bit of piecing with. But then I decided because of the patterns I wanted, I used, you'll need another, at least one more piece to make the pocket and um, some pieces to cover up a little bit of the white. So estimate you're gonna need three pieces of 12 by 12 paper or if you wanna use coordinating patterns, the ones that you like and that you choose. So I'm gonna give you all of the measurements and the scoring, even though I've cut mine already to save us a little bit of time because I really did wanna do some decorating. I've heard from many of you, you guys wanna see me do some of the decorating, not just show you um, one that I've made and then just show you the construction. So I'm gonna to try to do a little bit of both today, <laughs> show you how to put it together and then we'll do some decorating. The measurements and the scoring will be in the description at the end of the video, or that you can look at at any time um, while, you're, while we're doing the video. So the first thing you wanna do is cut one piece of 12 by 12 to 12 by eight. So you're gonna cut a four inch strip off. So you have a piece that is 12 by eight. This is going to be the piece that is going to be the cover of my folio. So, and you're looking at your papers, pick the one that you wanna be on the outside and that's the piece that needs to be 12 by eight. Your second piece you wanna to cut to 11 by eight. So again, you're gonna cut off that four inch strip and then you're gonna cut it down to 11, okay? Let's do the cover first. This piece, I laid mine on my scoreboard. Like I said, I've already scored it. But you're gonna score this piece at two and a quarter inches. I'll lay my ruler here. And I should have inked these so you guys can see them. So I'll add just a little bit right now so you can see. So two and a quarter, six 
and 11 and a half inches. Two and a quarter, six, 11 and a half. And then you're gonna fold them over and get nice crisp folds and lines. This is just a little decorative edge that we're gonna glue straight down. And this makes that first pocket, but don't glue it yet because we're gonna add a little piece of paper to cover up some of the white. So that's our cover. So set that one aside for right now. Your next piece, which is 11 inches by eight, you are going to score it, and I, I scored mine incorrectly, and that's why I'm hesitating on where I'm going to ink it to show you, so give me one moment. You want to score yours. <laughs> Do it as I say, not as I did the first time. It's gonna be okay. It won't matter that that little score's in there. You are going to score it at four and three quarter inches and at 10 inches. This is the little flap that is going to hold our angled pages, page together, that's made out of those big pockets. So if you do happen to have this kit, the pockets that are shaped like this is what actually ended up determining the size of my folio. I customized and designed this all based on these pockets. <laughs> so we're gonna cut some out of some scrap of paper so you have that page as well. And it is attached on this one inch little flap right here. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Now, let's do the main piece of construction. You're going to need a strip of paper that is two and a half inches by eight. And I'm looking for where I put mine. I only cut mine two inches. It would be much better if it was two and a half, but two will work. I'm giving you the measurement for two and a half. And we are going to glue that strip of paper, when you're looking at your cover, we scored at two and a half, I'm sorry, two and a quarter, and at six, and this is gonna fold over to be a side load pocket. So on this panel, right up next to your score line, your fold line, glue your strip of paper that is eight inches tall by two to two and a half inches. I am going to use my PVA Line Co glue, which is just a wet white glue. You can use whatever glue you like. For this part, even a glue stick would work. You can use some tape, um, two-sided tape, something like that. If you want to see some of the supplies that I use, check out my Amazon storefront. I am an Amazon affiliate, which means I'll get a few pennies if you decide to make a purchase after you visited but that's at no cost to you. So I've got their papers, glues, other adhesives, embellishments, things like that that I like to use just to give you guys an idea. If you used paper, scrap of paper that's on both sides, you won't need to add the strip. That's just for decorative purposes. Now to make this pocket, we are gonna add glue to these two sides, the top and the bottom, and just glue it down and let it dry. I went up and down the stairs a bunch of times. I don't know why my watch is saying I haven't moved enough this hour. Goodness. <clears throat> okay. Then we're also going to glue down this little skinny strip that's on the right edge of your cover piece. So just go ahead and glue that down so that this is looking nice for you. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the piece that is 11 by eight inches, and even though we scored it at the four and three quarters and at 10, 
This is four and three quarters of an inch. Turn it this way. <laughs> and if so, if your paper has a directionality, you may have to think about that. But I used paper that it doesn't matter. It's just a pattern. Because this piece is going to get glued into this section as a pocket. So don't glue it yet. Just let me show you what we're gonna do. This is going to, this piece right here, we are going to glue, and I'm making mine a side load pocket. If you'd rather, you can make it a top load pocket. The pretty blue is gonna get glued down, so we're gonna be covering it up later, but it's the only way that I figured out how to make this work. We'll have one side of the blue and another white piece that we'll put pretty things on. Now you wanna bring it, again, right to your crease line, and it leaves, a little strip of white here and I'm okay with that. I like that if you don't want that little strip of white, glue a piece of paper down. So grab this panel and I like to hold it by the side I wanna leave open and then add my glue. I'm gonna add glue to the three sides. The bottom, right along the score line and right along the top. And it's gonna be a nice big pocket. And I don't mind losing a little bit of my real estate here because it's such a big pocket. I just wanna make sure I have a, enough glue and it sticks nicely. I'm still holding it by the open side. I am lining it up right next to the fold line. And then I'm checking to see if it's looking straight. Mine needed to be nudged just a touch. But if you didn't cut your paper exactly perfect and looks like I did not, that's okay because I can come back through here with my scissors and just snip that off and make it look nice. Not a problem. Okay, very excited. This is gonna be a pocket. I'm gonna let it dry though before I start playing with it. This is a page, and now let's make our angled pocket page. It's gonna attach to this hinge right here. And you can do more inking, whatever you like. And there's gonna be the cover of this one. And I did change the measurements just a touch, so you'll notice that this one had a little bit more of a, 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 a lip, but I liked this design better. Okay. Let's make our pocket. To make these, if you don't, if you have the kit, you can just print that page out and cut it out and it's the right size. But if you don't have that, you need two pieces of paper that are four and three quarter inches wide and eight inches tall. And then to get the correct angle, so it's like the one I have, you are going to, Let's imagine this is a the full piece of paper. So we'll turn it, well, that won't work. But anyway, you've got a rectangle. You haven't cut the angle yet. What I do is on the left-hand side from the bottom left-hand corner, you want to mark with a pencil right at two inches and then the top right hand corner come over and mark at one and a half inches. So I'm going to do this on a piece of paper like this. So if this was to scale and it's not, I didn't think that this might be confusing. On the bottom left hand corner, grab your pencil and you're going to mark it at two and three quarter inches. That's what I said. If I didn't say two and three quarters, that's what it's supposed to be. And actually it's not. Goodness, you guys are gonna just be, I'm gonna get lots of negative comments. Oh well. Two and a quarter inches. Two and a quarter inches is what this is mark is supposed to be at. So mark yours at two and a quarter. And then come over here and place your ruler 
the corner right at that one and a half mark and then mark it right here because then you are going to connect those two dots two marks that you made and you only have to do this on one of them because once you cut this and like I said this one is not the, the right size piece of paper but the concept is the same you're going to cut right along that mark and then you will have this you've just cut it and you have that and then the other one lay your paper on there and use it to help you cut the next angle I hope that wasn't too confusing it's really not hard at all to make. You just have to mark it, connect the two lines, and get the angle. The other thing is, it doesn't have to even be the exact same angle. Let's say you have a piece of rectangular paper and you wanna make pockets like this. As long as you start off with the two pieces the same size, take a piece, a pair of scissors and cut, and then grab your other piece, this is the same size, and if it's only printed on one side, of course, make sure you turn it whichever way you need to to get the paper and then just cut the next one and you're done. So if that was too confusing for you, just start off with a piece of paper that is four and three quarters by eight and make your angle. Now, how we attach it, this is the fun part. We are going to use this as a hinge. So, once we glue it together, this is gonna turn into a page. So if you want this inked and all of that, go ahead and do that. I inked most everything before I got on camera today. But all you have to do is add glue to Pick whichever side you want to start on. So I'm just going to add glue to this part of the panel right up to the score line. And then you are going to lay your pocket. Because right now it's just a half, a half a pocket. <laughs> and then this one, once you flip it over, I know it's hard to see. Let's see if I can get a little ink on there because I picked navy blue paper. Well, you might be able to see it. There's a line right there of ink and the score line. This piece is going to glue right along that score line. And I'm going to glue along the bottom. And then this whole page will be open like a pocket, just like this one. See how I left it all open? and things can fit in there. I love it, and I hope you guys do too. I know it wasn't intended to be its own page like this, but it's nice and roomy, and if you wanted to, you could even glue here, but I wanted to leave it open. Okay, we got all kinds of pockets in this thing. I haven't even counted how many pockets it has. So the big thing for this one is I'm going to add glue to the bottom and to this one edge so that I get all of that room in my pocket. And then I'm bringing it right up to the fold line and getting it as neat as I can. But again, if we find out that we need to just trim our papers a little bit, we can. See right there, it wasn't quite perfect, and that's okay because I have a pair of scissors. And I just trimmed that right off. And you can do the same on your angle line if you need to. All right, so let that dry before it gets too crazy. And I liked mine folded that way, my original one, but we could also have it fold this way. We're going to be decorating all of these pages and pockets, and so it might end up, you know, you may decide once you get everything together um, wh which way you want this page to flip and flap. And you do want to kind of keep that in mind when you're decorating your pages because whichever way you do it, one of them will show because it's wider than the, the top cover. It's just something to keep in mind. Now, I cut another piece of paper 
that is four and three quarters by eight to place on this panel. I could have cut another one at five by eight to cover this panel, but I have some decorations I'm gonna put on there and I think I'm okay with it being white. If I change my mind, I'll cut another piece of scrapbook paper. But I'll put the measurements for you for, for both pieces in case you don't want any white on yours. So for this one, I'm just going to add glue to the entire piece and go ahead and glue it down. I like having the different patterns and the colors. The other thing it does by adding these, these layers is you do get your folio is a little sturdier. So that's something, you know, if you like the, the to feel the thickness, that would be something you might want to consider. Okay. I think I'm liking this one. And like the original, I think I'm going to like it this way to see those leaves. But we'll see. And then we still have this pocket here as well. So I'm going to start decorating and it'll be fun. I'm going to do the fronts in a similar fashion that I did the prototype and I'm just going to probably glue this tag down. I did layer some paper under the other one. I'm trying to see what I still have of scraps laying here. I didn't bring them all over. No, with those pumpkins that that's exactly what I want. A little piece of this red might be nice though. I don't mind that the kind of hard, harder angle there. So I think I'm gonna, that's just a, from where I cut my, this pocket, it's that piece. No, it's not, is it? Yes, it's that, that piece from the red sheet. <laughs> it's like a puzzle, it's like a puzzle. So I'm trying to think of, while I'm put, putting the front together here, of things to fill you guys in on. It has been raining like crazy here in Virginia. I, that we were supposed to get our driveway sealed for the last week or so, and it's just been too wet. And they came out and thought they were gonna be able to do it yesterday, but realized that it was not dry enough. So they're gonna, they were gonna try again tomorrow, but I'm telling you guys, it has been raining all day today. So I don't think that's possible. I did hear, this is um, the day after Hurricane, is it Helen or Helene, um, made landfall in Florida. And a lot of my extended family, and of course friends are still in Florida. Um, Cause I used to live there, but my family, and I have heard from most everybody that everybody is safe and, and did okay. My dad, he's going to be 81 on Tuesday. Wow. He um, said they lost power, but their generator is up and everything's good. So <laughs> that's a good, that's good news. I have this, this came out of um, my, shared with you guys, the big, loot I got off a of Facebook marketplace, this lady's scrapbooking and crafting supplies. And there was a whole bunch of this baker's twine in there. And the brown has been really fun for this project. So I'm gonna make a bow out of a piece of it to put on our cover. So I did decide to double it just to give it a little more thickness and interest and I'm just going to stick it that's kind of how I did the original one too and I'm going to use one of my glue dots so that I don't have to wait for the wet white glue to dry but if you have art glitter glue or even the Lineco PVA glue a lot of times I just put a blob and then put my if it's baker's twine or this kind of twine or something like that it really will dry and it'll be fine. I may add something more to this cover later, but we're gonna move on. So the the fun thing with this kit, I did, I showed you 
these side load pockets are really cute too. But I showed you guys this element where it opens up and there's pockets underneath. And like I said, my I challenged myself. I knew I was going to make two large folios, but to only print the kit once <laughs> and to see what I, if I could make two. And I definitely will be able to. But I don't have that page. But they also included a page of waterfall pockets. And I've already cut them out and gotten them ready. But I thought this was so cute. And I think this is the piece that I'm gonna put on the white page. So, and I put that bow on there, so I'm gonna flip it all around so this is nice and flat. So waterfalls, there, there's different ways. I've already started to assemble this one, just again, to save a little bit of time. But I've done waterfalls that go both directions. So I think kind of what we think of as a, re a regular one that they flap up, but I've also done the reverse where they flap down. I've already decorated these. So these are definitely going to be what I consider the uh, flap up orientation. So I'm going to show you how to install these in just a second, but I want to give you a sense and an idea of what this is going to look like. What's fun in this kit is you get the waterfalls and they have a pocket. So a pocket that fits on each one and then tags that fit inside those pockets. So I've already made the tags. I didn't do much to them. I just put a piece of ribbon and I inked on them. I certainly may go back and add more little labels and fun things. And if you watch their videos, they show you how to do this as well. So I think several of their add-on kits now have these waterfall pockets. So all I did was I went ahead and cut out the waterfall pieces. I didn't print on both sides, could have, so that it's not white, but I'm okay with it being white. And it could be some journaling space. So I already cut them out. I cut the pockets out, I cut the tags out, I assembled the pocket on each of the waterfalls and then I just have these ready to go on a page. So the first thing I wanna do is decide which one do I want to be on the front because that's the one we're gonna see when we turn to this page in the folio. And I believe I am going to have the truck on the front. So, to know where I want to start placing these, I do need to fiddle with it, you know, just a little. And so I'm going to fiddle and then I'm going to show you guys how to do it and how to install them. I think if I start just a tiny bit down from the top, it's going to be okay. So the first thing you're gonna do is you have this flap. And for the first one, I'm gonna add glue to this side of the flap, just like this. And like I said, I'm gonna start making sure it's centered on the page, left to right. And I came down, that's probably about a quarter of an inch. Okay, so we want to let that stick. And the next one we are going to do is going to, I believe, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember now. These are printed this way for a reason, and I'm just trying to remember because I don't want to have it messed up and then have to come back and be like, what in the world did I do? I'm gonna do them this way. There's different ways to install. If you wanna see their intent of how these are made and installed, they have a video and I will link that in the description for you guys, okay? Since this is not my kit and there's, I tend to go rogue and do things different ways. I'm just adding glue to each of these tabs, which is probably not the way they intended it to be done but that's how we're doing it today. And I am using the one above to help me know where I want to stick this one. It's important to keep them as much as possible lined up uh, so that they're even on the sides. Oh, it's cute. Now, one thing that I did think about was printing this page more than once so that I had could have more than four in my waterfall 
but I decided to stay true to the I'm only printing each page once. If I'm being honest, though, I may go back later, especially when I see I've got this room down here. Now, I could also put a pocket or something different down there, but isn't that cute, the waterfall? And if I had printed on both sides, there'd be a pattern on that side of the paper, too. I love it. I think it's cute, and there's obviously different ways we can do it. I, I'm glad that the my embellishments on my tags fit in my in my folio. I probably would have been a little upset if they didn't. <laughs> okay, so if I wanted to fold this way, all right, we're all good. I'm happy. Let's see what other embellishments I have for us. There was this triple pocket. Now I did have to trim it down. It was a little too wide, but I'm gonna install this one. I'm gonna spread them out just a little bit and we will have stacked pocket here on this page. So again, if you don't have the kit, you can cut out yourself out some rectangles. These are all the same width, a little bit different heights, and you can stack them just like that. But I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna spread mine out. So the biggest thing to do is to decide where do I want the top of um, my, my pocket to be. And I'm eyeballing it, but it's gonna be about right there. Again, I'm gonna hold it by the side. I want to stay open and we're gonna add glue to three sides. And again, I'm laying this down as close to being centered left to right. And I thought the top of the pocket would look good approximately at that point on the page. <laughs> and I know these are also deep enough that it can handle it. And I have to put them this way because if I start at the bottom of the page, the pockets won't stack correctly. If I glue this one down first, I'd put this one here, and then we would lose that pocket. So I'm having to pay attention. Now this one, because I do care where it is, I'm gonna take a pencil, wherever I put my pencil, and I am gonna make a little mark for myself, which I can erase later, so I know where this right-hand corner is gonna be. Again, holding it on the open side, and we'll do three. So if any of you guys um, watching were affected by the hurricane, let us know if you're okay. And I'm, that's one thing I don't miss about living in Florida, even though my husband and I talk regularly. Put this one on upside down. The pattern doesn't matter, but just so you know, I realize it's upside down. Uh, we talk regularly about the day we may be able to retire to Florida knowing when hurricanes come, we may have to evacuate. But hopefully everyone is okay and safe. Having so many friends and family in that part of the country, I'm always paying attention during hurricane season. All right, and then this one, I'm again making sure I'm lining it up with the other pockets, but also the bottom of my page. And if I had not put this one on upside down, my little pattern would be over here and it would look fabulous but I'm gonna be okay. I may decorate this some more, but we're gonna let that glue dry first. This envelope I really liked and I decided to leave it open because I thought, wouldn't that be a good to write a letter on? And then it could just fold up like that. And I, th I don't know, is it gonna fit in that pocket? It does. I was also thinking this might be a good piece to put in this pocket. And it does look cute there too. So I may leave it there. It's a little large for this pocket. But for this one, we'll put a few of these little faux postcards. Are they cute? Love the cupcake. So I may put some different things in there too. All right, what else do I have? I have all kinds of things that I cut out. Tags. Okay, let's open up because I do remember thinking that I wanted to do the, the stacked pockets. And I did smaller ones on this pocket, but again, I changed the measurements just a touch, and that's kind of why I did with the smaller ones, but knowing I had these larger pockets, I think these will work great. 
because you don't have to worry about the measurements were on that one. That was my prototype, and then I adjust it. And I hope it helps that I put the measurements in the description so that sometimes I can't help it when I'm recording these videos and talking to you guys, I, I misspeak, you know, instead of saying a quarter inch, I say a half an inch. And so always double check the measurements that I type out and put in those descriptions for you guys. It's, it, I, I feel much more confident in those because I, I do that right from my notes. And I'm not a professional. I, I am making this kind of my, my current uh, passion and livelihood. I'm enjoying having a full-time crafting business, but I am not a professional actor, videographer, don't know how to edit. I'm, I'm still learning a lot. So um, that, that's your disclaimer to please double check those measurements and I'm not trying to have anybody waste their supplies on purpose. Okay. It's another truck, so I think I'll save it. I was thinking this pocket in particular, I want some decoration on. Maybe we'll bring a pumpkin up there. So I've already, just like I said, there's a bunch of fussy cuts. There's tags, pockets, different shapes. There's some tickets here, words, all kinds of fun things for us to use. So I love kits like this. And there's, this is, like I said, the... What did I say it was? The Pumpkin Spice Junk Journal Ephemera Kit. But they have like the Pumpkin Spice Journal pages. They have Pumpkin Spice, I think, the faux paper clips. I mean, anything that you want to coordinate with this paper, they have. And I am in love with it. So I will also have the kit linked for you in the description as well if you just want to go take a look at their shop. Um, it's They're one of my favorites. And I they don't pay me. I pay for my paper kits from them. I'm not affiliated in any way except that I'm a big fan. <laughs> so, okay. It's just what I like. What I like. I have several favorites. Y'all can probably figure out who they are by the, the, the projects that I do and the papers I use. And of course, I'm having a lot of fun making my own papers these days as well. Okay, before I start stuffing that, let me think about what I want to put here. And I'm thinking this one, I'm not going to put anything on this page. I'm just going to enjoy those leaves so that I like my cover. On this one, I did put a pocket, and it's okay, but it, it looks fine, but you definitely see it. And I wasn't thinking about that when I chose that pocket. So, what do I have that could go on this panel? Well, that's cute. We'll just put this pocket in there. That makes it easy. Um, but again, if you don't have the, the kits or you can't print, you use what you have. You can make similar pieces, of course. You know, they won't be exactly the same, but similar pieces with scrapbook paper. You can make pockets with book pages. So many fun things you can do. Let's see. One of, oh, look at these jars. Aren't these cute? I think I'll put these in the pockets. I just can't help myself. So cute. We'll put one there too. And let's see if, yep, that fits in there. And I haven't put ribbons or anything on these yet, but I'm sure that I will at some point. Now, this one is a great big pocket, but not too deep, which is nice because I don't like when I lose things down inside my pockets. That make, makes me sad. These, you're not really going to see what's in there because I left it really big and open. And that's okay. I'll just have to remember that I put some, some treasures in there. Because we're on this edge, ouch. <laughs> Guys, my, I don't think you guys could see that off camera. My pin cushion sitting here on my desk and I went to grab something and I jammed the needle under my fingernail. Ouch. Okay. I'm going to, again, I don't really have to grab a coordinating ribbon. Let's see. I wasn't planning on necessarily adding any ribbons right now. 
this is that burlapy kind of I don't know how to describe it <laughs> it's a burlap kind of material sort of in a ribbon there we go I like that and I'm just gonna staple it on so that it can hang out here. And I think that's gonna look cute. Isn't that cute? I like little things hanging out of pockets. And I'll go back later, I'm sure, and start adding some more ribbons and things on these as I go. That'll fit. I need something sort of short to go in this pocket. Maybe I'll fold up some of my tickets. It's okay if they stick out the top, don't you think? We'll put two tickets in there. And I didn't, I don't think I saved anything necessarily that would make a pocket here from the kit. I could add a pocket from the scrapbook paper if I wanted to. Hmm, how would that look? No, I'm gonna just leave it. I'm gonna leave it for now. All right, and we have our flap. We This is a pocket I haven't used that I made. Add that pumpkin in there. We have lots of goodies in here, and even with everything I just stuffed it with, it's not too fat. I like it, I like the size of it. When it's all folded up, again, it's eight inches tall and it's five and a half inches wide. I think it's a nice, a nice size. I still have lots of pretties that I could keep decorating with, but those are the two that I've made. I hope that you will grab your scrapbook paper or the papers that you have and you'll try to make one and let me know. It's definitely what it doesn't fit into the one page wonder. You know, it took several, but I do think with three pieces of 12 by 12 paper, you could definitely construct, have it layered, and the pockets that are built in and this page done. You'll need other papers, whether it's digitals or something else to make all the extra pockets and ephemera, okay? I hope you like it. Leave me a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified when I release new content. And give me a thumbs up. Thanks, everybody. Until next time, have a great day.